what's up guys it's me the Harlingen engine rail fanner 83 and this is another video for you roly my last video was the abandoned edinburgh branch line which was sort of abandoned in the 80 the 70s or 80s maybe now i'm going to take you on to the active crossings of different cities First, I'm going to start with McAllen, Texas, which is about 37 miles from Harlingen. Most of these crossings are owned by the Rio Valley Switching, which obviously they are. Why did I say most? Okay, so this right here, I'm going to start right here on South 10th Street. Okay. So... It's not like the computer Google Maps where you just click on the street and then it will just take you there. No, you have to click on certain places, like the the places that are like here. Anyways, look at these ancient, these ancient big, big boys right here. These are so ancient right here. And uh, Rolly, you might have not seen these calendars, but I would tell, uh, I'm going to tell you the names of them right now. These are Federal Signal Western Colon Division can levers. Yes, I am going correct. Um, early CSX days, which when the LNN mostly ran all CSX lines, they used these types of uh, can levers to do it. And sorry for my my fans in the way because it's literally too hot in my room. I don't usually uh, turn on my fan. As you can see, the trucks go through a car dealership. And as you can see, this is in the, the city of McAllen, Texas. Uh, the lights up here are, I think, are GRS 8 inch lights. There's one uh, Rake 8 inch light right there. Um, no, 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 no. Those are Safe Trend 8 inch lights. They're all, and that one is also a safe train 8 inch light. And these are WRS 8 inch lights. There's a safe train mechanical bell. Why can I tell that's a safe train mechanical bell? It's because you see the little uh, cap of the gong right there? It's supposed to be like a little, uh, it's supposed to be like that. So it's either a Reiko or a safe train mechanical bell. And then the next signal has WRS 8 inch lights, as you can see right there. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, those are WRS 8 inch lights. Also over here, those are WRS 8 inch lights. And up there are more WRS 8 inch lights. And another safe, uh, safe train or Reiko mechanical bell. Drive you facing west towards... Um... I don't know all the street names of McAllen because I don't usually go to McAllen to rail fan there. I only went like uh, nine or ten times to go rail fan there. There's the relay case right there. It's obviously small though, but there's a spur right there where, as you can see, there's uh, cars right there that are being stored right there. And uh, I gotta tell you this. the um, Back in 2007... Back in 2007, this branch line was fully overgrown with little weeds growing on it, yes. Um, but for some reason, they just weeded the whole line off. But there's uh, there's still a lot more weed to go. Only It's only at the end of the line. That's where it's mostly at. And plus, it signs that... Oh, yeah, um... Ro Rolly, you gotta see this, you gotta see this. A crossing just got removed uh, this year. This year, I don't know when it happened, but it did get removed. Okay, okay. All right, it's right here on Inspiration Road, North Inspiration Road. All right, this was before it got removed. This was before. 
I think. Yeah, that's before. As you can see, uh, there's the crossing right there itself. That's the crossing itself there. But when I inch closer and closer to it, okay, I'm inching closer to it. It's still there. It's still there. Okay, the this crossing didn't have no bells. It's a quad gateless signal crossing. It, they're all eight inch lights. The the these are mostly safe tran and Ryko eight inch lights. And then there's a oh wait oh there is a difference between a uh, safe tran and Ryko. That one's a Ryko eight inch light. That one's a safe tran eight inch light. Oh okay. As you can see, there is weeds growing up on the tracks. That's that's one side that it's a ba almost getting abandoned. There is also pinnacle on top. Just like the old SCL days. But this is not owned by SCL. Uh, CSX. For some reason, they put a weird... Uh, sorry about that. They put a crossbook right there, which I don't know why they would do that. And watch when they go on out on the... Thingy, jiggy. Hold on. Is it gonna... Oh, crap. Eh, looks like I'm stuck. I don't know. Eh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something right here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go into here because I was stuck on the thing. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Long gone already. Like I said in the last video, gone but never forgotten. such old pieces of history as you can see these are this is what it is looked like before now it looks like this such a sad sight and I think I can find one of the foundations one of them's right there the other is yeah there it is there it is as you can see right there that's where you see the wire right there that's where it was so it's been ripped out from its foundation the other one is right some somewhere. It's somewhere. Okay, they flushed away the foundation of the second, the second median signal, and I you can barely see the first one over there. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, let's see if I can find this one. It looks like nope. I can't find it. Okay. The first one should should have been around here somewhere. As you can see, the relay case is still here. But I think this crossing is going to be replaced or something. But the old signals are still in our heads. It's... But don't worry. We can all picture it in our heads what they used to look like. This is another crossing, but it didn't get ripped out. So this one had survived. Thankfully. Okay, so they had uh, shortened up the road. This is the West Expressway 83 Frontage Road, nicknamed that. Okay, uh, these lights are WRS 8 inch lights, I believe so. Yes, they're WRS 8 inch lights. And both uh, signals have pinnacles on top of them. As you can see, the um, they have redid the track. Where, as you can see, the relay case is way over there. It, it's always used to being over here, but it's over here now. It's over here. Anyways, um, there is there is a spur. It's all the way down there. It's all the way down there. But there there's a spur. As you can see, it's right there. It's right there. That 
that track right there split it off cut into the neighborhood and then went onto another branch line Yeah, so that it's a sad sight to see. Okay, as you can see, it's this track right here. That's this is the branch line itself. All right, so now I'm going to show you the one of the most dangerous crossings that can ever be found. Okay, this one right here. Frontage Road. Frontage Road. Alright. Alright, Rolly. You gotta see this. This is one of the most deadliest crossings to ever find out in Texas. Although, the crossing is really interesting to see, though. It's just that it's dangerous. Crap. Oh, found it. Yay. Okay. Look at this one signal on one side of the road and plus it's on the wrong side of the road anyway so yeah Rolly this is one of the most dangerous crossings that you can ever find the frontage of road crossing and far plus this is the border of far and McAllen once you pass the intersection of Jackson Road which is over there the next crossing over that's McAllen. That's when you reach McAllen. This is not the relay case. That's the relay case over there. As you can see, it's still hooked up to power. But there's also no bells at this crossing as well. I wish there was. As you can see, the lights up here are all WRS 8-inch lights, which is the ones up here. And these, the ones right here, WRS 8-inch lights more WRS right here they're all WRS and this the only thing that's here is a federal signal oh no wait is it is it WRS cantilever no it's a federal signal uh, cantilever or Western Colin Hayes cantilever those are rare to find though as you can see there's a spur that connects off I don't know what spur it was but it's it, it is a spur though Yeah, one of the most dangerous crossings you can ever find. Now let's go to my hometown. Okay, this blue dot right here is where I'm living right now. I actually, what got me interested into uh, rail fending is because I live very close to to the tracks right here near a canal. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you a piece of history right here. There used to be an abandoned spur here, but they ripped off the tracks. Okay, we're on Commerce Street right now, and the spur was located on East Taft Avenue. As you can see, this is a look from 2007. Okay, I'm going to show you where it was. Okay, just be aware of yourself. This is going to be a sad sight to see. Okay, this a uh, dirt trail right here near the near the trash can right here. This dirt trail right here that comes up from a gate. That's where it used to be at. It used to cross Taft Avenue and went right into that. Um, went right into here. Went right into there. Yes, that's where it was. That's where it went. Honestly, you can believe that there was no grade at here at the time, but yeah, the, it was an interesting crossing. Okay, I think you can barely even see the tracks. Barely, just barely. It's in the trees. It's it's hard to see the tracks in the trees because I I actually saw it once, but I don't know where they were. Oh, 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 there's a piece of evidence right there. There's one of the ballasts. There's one of the ballast pieces from the spur itself. But then I'm going to show you the real uh, Union Pacific Crossing. This one is just wet. It's um, 
East of Buchanan Avenue, the one I recorded, the one I caught on video, uh, the Union Pacific train. Alright, so as you can see, this is Taft Avenue. I actually got down to actually tour this crossing. I haven't been on this road though in a long time. As I, I only know one change to this. They they added a crossbuck. They had added a crossbuck because uh, long ago there wasn't no crosswalk on this signal, so that's the only change I remember. Oh no, it wasn't on this signal. It wasn't on that signal. As you can see, the the bells are. Harman electronic bells, which are very rare to find actually, but they're very common in Texas. Hey, it looks like the lights have been replaced uh, with Progress Rail. Uh, that's a Progress Rail light right there. That one is a older safe trend light. That one, is, those are what you're calling his 12 by 24 inch lights. No, those are 12 by 24 inch, those are 12 by 20 inch on a Modern Industries bracket. And the gate lights are mostly from Rico. And as you can see, that's the old bridge under the uh, McKelvey Trail. I don't know what the dome is for, but it's near Camelot Drive which is um, two crossings down from here, which is that way. As you can see, this is the old trestle that was built probably in the 20s or 30s, 1920s or 30s. Okay, let me see if I can locate the switch because there was a switch eventually right here. Okay, there's the relay case. There's only a little bit of changes to Taft Avenue, so that's okay, though. Okay, if I can see it. Okay, it's just still the cross itself. No, I think the spur was a little bit closer to here. I don't know. No, it was over here. Anyways, the spur was over here anyways, so yeah, that's one piece of history right there. Anyways, this is where, this is the Rio Valley switching line right here. It ends off, it starts off right here near the police department. This is the Kansas City Southern line. This is where the Edinburgh sub starts. Now I'm going to take you all the way down, like somewhere. Um, as you can see, I'm at the way bottom of Texas. Now I'm going to take you to Alabama. I know I'm not going to, I'm actually going to do a free sell one. This is not actually going to be the, what I plan to do. But I'm still going to do it. Okay, this is Huntsville, Alabama. This I watched another rail fanner called Freeware Productions. Go check out his channel. His channel has great content in there. As you can see right here, this... Okay. Uh, where's Pratt Avenue? Okay, Church and Pratt Avenue. This used to be the old Ellen and Huntsville branch. How I know that because... Um... Right here, this little spur right here, that's where it used to connect off to. Oh no, it was probably one of these spurs right here. No, it was this spur. It was this spur right here. Yeah, it was this one. And then it, it went under here. It went across the Pinhook Creek. Um, and then it curved, it curved right here onto Wheeler Avenue. And then it crossed Church and Pratt Avenue. Okay, anyways, I am going to show you one, uh, okay, I'm going to show you Holmes Avenue, number two. Holmes Avenue, number two, okay, I don't really want that. Okay, there we go, there we go, okay, so, 
This is the Holmes Avenue Railroad Crossing. Well, it's some. Okay, gotta find it though. Okay, there it is. It's over there. There's one owned by Norfolk Southern, and the other is owned by the HMCR, which is also known as the Huntsville Madison County Railroad. It used to be owned by the LNN, but HMCR bought it out. I don't know where they were from, but they somehow bought it out. As you can see, this crossing is one of the most interesting crossings because obviously it's under an overpass. The bell is a General Signals Type 1 electronic bell. And it's also a quad gated crossing. This right here is a Safe Trend double mast cantilever. The lights are also incandescent also. And you want to see it? It's right there. There's the big boy right there. Very old ancient. Okay. This was installed in the 60s or the 70s. That's when the LNN was starting to run. As you see, the LNN always used wooden grades. So the wood is still here, but the lights are now LED. The LED they're Western Colony's second generation LEDs. Everything is federal signal here, federal signal here, except for one light right there, that one. That's a WRS 8 inch light. And then the bell here is a federal signal mechanical bell. Traffic facing um, north to, towards the beginning of the line. And facing south into the yard. And there's one of the engines. It's a high hood B23-7. There's their main office. Um some uh, rails right here which are often trash not exactly concrete cross ties only there's one right here now there's a bunch of rails over there okay I'm gonna show you another crossing okay this might be the last crossing that I'll show you but I'll, I'll just get on to it okay oh my god my throat hurts from talking so much but I'm doing this for you, Rolly. You're my, you're my, I'm your biggest fan, actually. All right. This right here is Clinton Avenue. Um, back then in 2007 of October, there was um two federal signal cantilevers. I think it was where those traffic lights were standing right now. As you can see, that was the old relay case. That was the old relay case for that. But they got downgraded to crossbooks, but I don't know why. I guess they didn't have enough money to do it. Anyways, they also redid the road also because it was just like an original road. It wasn't like that. So yeah, they had redid the road and Replaced it with four individual crossbucks. Now I'm going to show you another crossing that's really rare. Okay, um, big boy, big boy, where are you? Oh, here we go, here we go. This is gonna be the last crossing I'll show you, and then I'll con I'll continue it tomorrow because okay, because I need to do something tomorrow. Anyways, this is Airport Road which has the largest cantilever in the city and state. Excuse me, I burped, sorry. Anyways, this these cantilevers are both Lincoln Industries cantilevers. One humongous one with a General Signals Type 2 electronic bill. All the lights are safe trend 12 by 20 inch lights with dilate ball LEDs. There's the relay case over there. The um, so southern signal right there is a smaller Lincoln Industries cantilever with another General Signals Type 2 electronic bill. Safe trend 12 by 20 inch lights with dialite ball LEDs in them. Back then, in June 2007, this crossing was crossbucks. Yes, those up there, those right there, they were crossbucks. And not not these types of it, 
it, was, it also had a really, really rough wooden grade to it. And, pu and a lot of people complained that this road need, the, they need to redo the crossing. So they eventually did. Uh, they taken out the cross bucks and they uh, put in these signals. I think in about 2009, um, they, when they first activated the signals, the lights were all pointing upwards. Yeah, the lights were all pointing upwards, and, um, yeah, that was technically all it for the crossing itself. But, anyways, it was just humongous for this crossing to be. And look, there's four individual foundations just for that. And someone just left their coke there, which I don't know when. Okay, that's where all the, that, those are where the famous crossings are. Eagle Tree Lane which are Eagle Tree Lane, Drake Avenue, and Bob Wallace Avenue. Bob Wallace Avenue is the oldest out of all of them because those the crossing is all WRS, pure WRS. Do, two WRS cantilevers. Um, the left, the southern signal is... Um, the southern signal has a total of six pairs of WRS 8 inch lights. The northern signal has a total of four pairs of WRS 8 inch lights and a WRS mechanical bell which still works because the crossing was installed in the 60s or 70s as well. So really thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be continuing the video tomorrow because I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. And I'll eventually, when I have a little bit of time off, um, I'll do it for you. Wait, what's that? Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. Over. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on for a sec. I'm going to end this video while facing the crossing itself. I gotta let it focus for a second here. Okay, gotta let it focus. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Alright. Just let it, uh, bring it out. Oh, come on. Hold on, I think if I do this, it'll help out. No, it didn't. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, by the way, Ro uh, Rolly, all the crossings here are all gateless. They're all gateless on the HMCR. That's technically, this is technically one of the most dangerous lines in Huntsville. Okay. It's not focusing. I'll just end it. Okay, over and out. I forgot to do that. 